On mornings, when the fishermen of Kampong Air Gemiru, a now defunct village located where Chengji Airport stands, returned to shore, the beach would turn into a fish market. Everybody would help to pull the sampan's small boats up the beach when the fishermen returned, and the Max 6 aunties would be there waiting with their baskets, said author Isaiah Majid. 62, who lived in the village from 1962, when she was born, to 1974. They would rush to the fishermen, pick the fish that they wanted and bargain for the best price. While Kampong Air Gemiro may have made way for the development of Chengji Airport in the 1970s, and the Airport Police Division now stands in its place, Madam Isaiah's memories of the Kampong have been documented in a guide for the National Heritage Board's NHB Latest Heritage Trail, launched on March 26. The Chengji Heritage Trail features 23 sites that recall Chengji's history and the diverse narratives associated with it, such as World War II, Chengji Beaches Coastal and Recreational Heritage, as well as the area's present-day role as Singapore's aviation hub. 22 stories from community members, such as Madam Isaiah, are found in the guide. While six of the 23 sites, including Kampong Air Gemiro, cannot be visited, their histories are still documented in the guide. The public also has no access to sites such as Chengji Prison or the bungalows near Chengji Beach. But these places of interest can be observed from the outside. To cater to the public's varied interests, NHB curated three thematic routes for the self-guided trail. Participants can opt to take public transport to reduce the distance covered on foot for each route. The first route, Bungalows and Beaches in Chengji, covers about 4 kilometers around the area's coastline, taking visitors by recreation clubs, decades-old chalets and the coastal views that have drawn holidaymakers to Chengji since the mid-1800s. Along the way are Chengji Cottage, which the late founding Prime Minister Lee Kuan Yew once called home for a few months, and chalets a ferry point that date to the late 1920s, when they were built as accommodation for senior British military officers. The second thematic route, War and Peace in Chengji, takes participants over about 7.6 kilometers, starting from Chengji Prison. NHB said that in the 1920s, the British chose Chengji as the site for a cantonment or military quarters and artillery emplacements to protect the then upcoming naval base in Sembuang. Barracks that were part of the cantonment, such as Block 42 in Hendon Road, are part of this route, along with the former Chengji Hospital, completed in 1962 for the British Royal Air Force. Also remembered are darker periods of Chengji's history. Chengji Beach, one of many sites where the Japanese carried out the Sokqing massacre during World War II, closes off the route. The newly refreshed Singapore Navy Museum, accessible from Chengji Beach by public transport, is an optional extension to this route. The third route, Gateways and Communities in Chengji, delves into the communities that live and work in the area. Of note are two temples with decades-long connections to the area. Yen Kit Village Chinese Temple, a Taoist temple near Chengji Prison Complex, was founded in 1939 by residents of the former Yen Kit Village located in the area. Meanwhile, Sri Rama Temple, completed in 1946, has its roots in a tree shrine regarded as sacred by Hindu residents of Chengji Point. Mr. Telepathy K.V, a temple volunteer of about two decades, said the ficus tree still sits at the front of the temple with two small shrines dedicated to Buddha and Guang Yin at the base of the tree. This is a rarity in Hindu temples here and a testament to the multiracial appeal of the temple, said the 67-year-old, adding that the shrines were introduced in the mid-2000s. A former army regular, Mr. Telepathy, 
said he grew up in Chingji village, watching British soldiers in nearby camps marching, and then mimicking them, which inspired him to embark on a 37-year career with the Singapore Armed Forces. Chingji Airport, the last stop of this route, officially opened in 1981 and has since become a national icon. Among the airport's landmarks is its 81M tall control tower. Sitting atop the tower is a three-story bowl-like structure that houses the control cabin. Mr. Joshua Wu, the son of former contractor Wu Chi Yong, who had a hand in building the control tower, said the tower would always remind him of his late father, whose story is also featured in the guide. The 38-year-old headhunter said his father would never fail to bring up his involvement in the tower's construction when their family was at the airport. It's like just yesterday that he told those stories to us. He said of the elder Mr. Wu, who died in 2016. Mr. Alvin Tan, NHB's deputy chief executive for policy and community, said the 22 community stories featured in the Trails Guide will help to make historical narratives more relatable to trailgoers and instill a sense of pride in those who contributed their stories and photographs. We hope that our community contributors will take on greater ownership of their heritage and become ambassadors for our heritage trails, he said. Mr. Tang added that NHB will in 2025 refresh two of its 24 trails, Yishun Heritage Trail and Jubilee Walk. An 8 km trail curated to mark Singapore's 50th birthday. Before launching the Changi Heritage Trail, NHB unveiled the refresh on MOKO and Toa Payo Heritage Trails in 2023. Changi Heritage Trails Guide and Map can be downloaded at go.gov.sg slash roots chongai heritage trail. NHB said the map will be available in the Chinese, Malay and Tamil languages from June. Limited print copies of the Trails Guide are available at Siglab Community Club. Changi Chapel and Museum, and the Asian Civilizations Museum.